Uh, a survey of institutional investors with $37 trillion in assets under management found this. They were asked what their top five responses were to deliver the best long-term returns for their beneficiaries. Number one, renewable energy, 47 per cent. Second, biodiversity. Third, energy storage. Fourth, low-carbon tra transport and fifth industry materials, including critical minerals. Uh, Nuclear Green. energy was last, Mr Speaker, last. And perhaps the Leader of the Opposition has identified why. Because he said that everything will all be fine in soothing the nerves of his, uh, of his members behind him there. Uh, there are only four outstanding issues. <laughs> Safety, disposal, cost and location. Apart from that, it's full Member, steam ahead. Member for Deakin. Full steam ahead. It's no wonder no one wants to campaign with him on these Order. issues, Mr. Speaker, because no one believes that absence makes the heart grow fonder quite like the Leader of the Opposition. <laughs> there were no public appearances in Tasmania for 55 days before last week's election. 55 days. There were no public appearances in Victoria for 37 days before the last state election. Order. The member for Deakin will But that's objection. nothing like New South Wales, Mr Speaker, where there were no public appearances in New South Wales for 142 Order. days before the election. Almost half a year. Seems to suit everyone. I'll give you a big tip, though. It's a lot harder to hide a nuclear reactor. <laughs> and you've said but they're going to be right around the country. Right around the country. Order, Ask your coalition order. MP, what would you rather have in your backyard, the Leader of the Opposition or a nuclear reactor? <laughs> and they reply, we'll get back to you. <laughs> One is risky, expensive, divisive and toxic. The other is a nuclear reactor. <laughs> Mr Speaker. Order. The bad news for the Liberal Party is that you can put both on a core flute, and we certainly intend to do so.